if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got it figured out here. It's more than a buzz. Ryan Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to do a preview of the Alabama Crimson Tide 2023 schedule. All right. This is not a video to uh, predict, you know, how many games they'll win or to say to say who we got leaving uh, via the draft or the transfer portal or this defensive coordinator going to do this or offensive coordinator going to do this. It's not for that. It's just to go down their schedule and, and look at the teams that we got on the schedule. So the, let's get started. September the 2nd, first game, we got Middle Tennessee, who went 8-5 and five last season. And guess what? Guess what else they did last season? They beat Miami, 45-31. <laughs> to So that can tell you that Middle Tennessee State, I mean, well, Middle Tennessee can uh, – can compete with Power Five programs, but uh, Miami is not Alabama, so I don't think they can come into Tuscaloosa and just <laughs> pull out a Cinderella win against my Alabama Crimson Tide. I just uh, don't think it'll happen. Okay, and then uh, September the ninth, we got Texas, who went eight and five last season. Uh, they played Alabama last season in Austin, and Alabama beat them twenty to nineteen. Tough game. Quinn Ours went out, and we know before he went out, Alabama defense was getting lit up until the Dallas Turner put him out his dang on misery, I guess, if that's the way you want to put it. But anyway, but if you're an Alabama fan, you know Quinn Ours going down had an effect on that damn game. <laughs> I'm an Alabama fan, and I know it. And you also know we had at least – at least one call to go our way. And you all know what call I'm talking about. It should have been a safety. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I haven't said it wasn't a safety before, but I was just trolling in. But that should have been a safety because his his uh chin was on the ground. That's all I'm saying. But, hey, it didn't go. It, it, that call went our way. They didn't call it. So, hey, it ain't, a, it ain't a penalty if the ref don't call it. Hey, hey only thing that matter. Is uh, what's on the scoreboard at the end of the game. And at the end of that game, my Alabama Crimson Tide was ahead. But anyway, we got Texas, September 9th, this time in Tuscaloosa. All right? Uh, third game, September the 16th, we got South Florida. Are you serious? South Florida went 1-11 last season. The only game they won was against Howard, 42-30. <laughs> and that, so... So they got to play Alabama this season. You ain't finna go from 1-11 to even competing with Alabama. They shouldn't even, even show up. I'm going to tell you that now. But regardless, we got South Florida on the team, on, 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 the, on the schedule, a team that went 1-11 last season. You might as well call Tuscaloosa a slaughterhouse that day because that's what it's going to be. South Florida Bulls. It's coming. Well, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they is. Whatever. I don't know what they mascot is. But whatever, but whatever it is, they coming to get slaughtered September the 16th, 2023. I can tell you that. Okay. Fourth game, September 23rd, Ole Miss. Hmm. Oh, hell no. Nope. We play South Florida in Tampa, Florida. So, Tuscaloosa. Won't be a slaughterhouse that day. But wherever we play at, Tampa, Florida, whatever stadium they got or wherever we play in Tampa, Florida, whether it's the Buccaneer Stadium or whatever, it's going to be a slaughterhouse. That's all I can tell you. But anyway, fourth game, September 23rd, we got Ole Miss. All right. Ole Miss went 8-5 and five last season. Alabama beat them last season 30-24. to 24. Okay. S score sounds close. But it's closer than what the game really told. I'm going to put it that way. And with Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin, man, Lane Kiffin, he made some of the dumbest decisions. He loved to go forward on fourth down. 
Lane Kiffin can have it third and 15 on his own 30-yard line, and he'll go for it. And you definitely can't beat Alabama making those type of decisions. So it is what it is. If he make those decisions on September 23rd, 2023, he will lose to Nick Saban in Alabama once again. So I don't really think he's going to lose, lose regardless, but it is what it is, man. It is, it is Ole Miss. But anyway, but Ole Miss' biggest win was against Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl, which I thought Mississippi State could have won that game. But anyway, it is what it is, man. Okay, the very next week, October 30th, we got Mississippi State <laughs> in Starkville. Ole Miss comes to Tuscaloosa, and then Alabama goes to Starkville to play Mississippi State the very next week, September 30th. All right? Uh, <laughs> Mississippi State went 9-4 and four last season. That's a good season for them, man. Alabama beat them pretty easily, 30-6. to six. So... But that's my Alabama Crimson Tide and that Mississippi State it is what it is. But uh, Mississippi State, uh, the unfor unfortunate passing of their head coach, Mike Leach, and uh, they they replaced him with the, with uh, their offensive coordinator. I don't know his name right now, but they replaced Mike Leach with uh, their offensive coordinator, and he led them to a win in the bowl game. So, so he got his first win. But uh, next season, We'll be going to Starkville, Mississippi and seeing if we can handle our business on September 30th. So, and that is the uh, fifth game of the season. Uh, yep, fifth game of the season. One, two, three, four, five. No, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's the sixth, uh, fifth game of the season. So, we'll see where our record is at at that time. All right. All right, then October the 7th. Week six, we got Texas A&M at uh in College Station. We all know College Station. That is a loud ass stadium. And the last time Alabama went to went to College Station, they got beat. They got beat. So we had penalties, mistakes in that game, missed field goals, whatever. But last year, uh, Texas A&M came to Tuscaloosa and we beat them. <laughs> we beat them by a mere four points, 24-20. Uh, had to make a defensive play on the last play of the game. Mm, mm, mm. We can't have that. We definitely can't have that. We need to go back to what we used to do, beating Texas A&M like they the team up they are, bottom of the barrel. So hopefully we can get back to doing that. Uh, we making changes in Tuscaloosa. So hopefully, hopefully they change this for the better. But anyway, Texas A&M biggest win to me was against uh, they beat LSU. So that was their biggest win last season. But uh, LSU they went five and seven last season. They finished last in the West and they was two and six in the conference. That was a terrible season for uh, Texas A&M, considering all the daggone hype that was they. They was making the bottom before the game of the seat, but before the first game of the season, and uh, with that number one recruiting class that they brought in, so I'm sure that was a disappointing season. And also, uh, Jimbo Fisher over at Texas Texas A&M making some changes, but also Texas A&M losing a lot of guys to the transfer portal. So we'll see how they season work out, so, and we'll see how my Alabama Crimson Tide with a uh, handle business against Texas A&M. On that day, October the 7th, 2023, in College Station. All right. October 14th, we got uh, Arkansas in, in Tuscaloosa. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's week seven. We got Arkansas in Tuscaloosa. All right. Arkansas, they went seven and six last season. <laughs> now, mind you, Arkansas started off five and oh. They started off five and oh. And then uh, they played Texas A&M, which they should have won that game. Had a lot of mistakes and turnovers in that game. And they dropped that game and just couldn't rebound. And the very next week, they played Alabama. Alabama beat them 49-26. to And uh, that's the game Bryce Young went down in and Jalen Miro took over. Uh, so 
Arkansas, they better get on. They, I don't know what to say. This like this at least the second year in a row. They started off five and oh, four and oh, and then everything went downhill. But uh, shit, <laughs> they better get on the ball. But next season, I don't think it'll be no better either. So it is Arkansas. I mean, damn. All right, then uh, that that was October the fourteenth. We got Arkansas. Then October twenty first, we got Tennessee. Tennessee went eleven and two last season. One of the best seasons they'd have had in a long damn time. Tennessee beat us last season, fifty two to forty nine. All right, first time Tennessee beat us in fifteen years. Very first time they beat us in fifteen years. So I expect my Alabama Crimson Tide to uh to rebound. You know, in that game, Tennessee had everything going for them, including the refs. But hey, I can say that didn't take away from Hinton Hooker throwing five damn touchdowns. But Tennessee had the refs on their side. We Alabama committed 17 penalties in that game. Alabama missed field goals in that game. So I mean, we 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 had a lot against us that day, but it's all good. It's over now. We can rebound from that. And uh, guess what? Tennessee comes to Tuscaloosa. So they won't have the refs on their side in Tuscaloosa. So uh, hopefully on that day, October 21st, we can beat them handedly. Handedly. And send them back on their way to, uh, to Rocket Top crying and complaining. And I guarantee you, after that butt whooping my Alabama Crimson Tide put on them, them Tennessee fans will shut their damn mouth. But anyway, I'm going to just get off of that. So, uh, the very next week, nope, not the very next week. We got a buy after Tennessee. So, uh, so we got a buy on October 28th. But then on November 4th, we play LSU. All right. LSU went 10 and 4 under, under Brian Kelly his first year. They also beat Alabama 31 to 30 in Death Valley. But uh they come to Tuscaloosa this time. They come to Tuscaloosa this time. I have to admit, Brian Kelly did his thing in his first year. I have to admit that. So he beat me, he said before the, the season. He came to the SEC to beat Nick Saban, and he did it in his very first year. But hopefully, his second year, on November 4, 2023, it'll be a different outcome. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm anxious for this game because, trust me, I want revenge. I want revenge against Tennessee and LSU. So, but, you know, we'll see how it go. All right, November 11th, we got Kentucky. In Lexington, all right? So Kentucky went 7-6 and six last season under Bob Stoops. Their biggest win to me was against Mississippi State, okay? I'm sure Kentucky had a – Kentucky standards, Bob Stoops standards, they had a disappointing season last season uh, going 7-6. and six. But, hey, it is what it is. It don't always work out the way you want it to work out. Hell, our season didn't work out the way we – Alabama fans wanted to work out, but it's all good. They, they can rebound, but I don't think they'll be rebounding against my Alabama Crimson Tide. You can believe that shit. You can believe that. So, I don't think Kentucky is going to be an issue. Very next week, November 18th, another cupcake. We got Chattanooga. I don't even want to talk about them. I don't even want to talk about them. They like South Florida, and they come to Tuscaloosa. So, that day will be a slaughterhouse in Tuscaloosa. I can tell you that right now. So Chattanooga, they they they, they, they come to for Chattanooga coming to Tuscaloosa, it's like coming to the daggone death chamber. So it is what it is, Chattanooga. Ain't no hard feeling. You just happen to be on the daggone schedule. All right. Very next week, last game, November 20, 25th, we got Auburn. Auburn five and seven last season. Same as Texas AM. Texas AM was dead last in the West. Auburn was right above them. <laughs> we know Brian Harson is gone. They got Hugh Freeze now. Hugh Freeze at Auburn making some big changes. And we'll see if those changes are for the better. But for anybody who think Alabama Crimson Tide is scared of Hugh Freeze, hell no. 
The only thing Hugh Freeze is known for is beating Alabama those two times. That's what they remember. But they don't remember Hugh Freeze losing to Alabama three times. I can tell you that shit. So Hugh Freeze ain't nothing special in Auburn. Nothing. Nothing. He hasn't won anything as long as he's been a head coach. I don't care where he coached at. He ain't won no type of championship. So nobody scared of Hugh Freeze. But anyway, uh, Alabama beat Auburn in the Iron Bowl 49-27, which I thought, you know, we could have, you know, beat them by more. Uh, defense was looking looking pretty slack that game, too, Alabama's defense. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We got the win. So uh, that's Alabama's schedule, man. That's Alabama's schedule. Go back through it. Middle Tennessee State, Texas, South Florida, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Texas A&M, Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, Kentucky, Chattanooga, and Auburn, okay? Now, we got a gauntlet that we got to go through. We got a gauntlet. After September the 6th, that game against uh, South Florida, the very next week, the gauntlet start with Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Texas A&M, Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, Kentucky. So that's about... That's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Nothing but SEC play. Nothing but SEC play. So we'll see how, how it works out. So in six of those games is uh, all SEC West. So we'll see how this season work out. I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking forward to having a great season. And uh. I don't think we're going to lose six. I mean, uh, we're going to lose two games this season. I don't think that. I ain't going to say nothing. That's as far as I'm going to go. I don't think we'll lose two games. As far as I'm going to go. So, anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about Alabama's schedule. All right? Y'all tell me who y'all think possibly on this schedule will beat Alabama. So, you know, everybody have their different opinions. Now, I'm going to be doing – I'm going to do, be doing – a schedule preview like this of all the top SEC teams. I'm not doing Vanderbilt. No way. Nope. I'm not doing no daggone Missouri. Nope. Now, those two teams, I am not doing. Okay? So, uh, we'll see. But mostly everybody else I do. I know uh, South Carolina had a good season. I'm going to do theirs. You know? So, even though Texas A&M had a bad season, I'll do theirs. Because, you know, I love talking about Jimbo and them Texas A&M actors. So, uh. That's all I got for this video. But like I said, tell me what y'all think about this, this uh, Alabama 23, 2023 Alabama schedule. And tell me who y'all think on this schedule got a possibility of beating Alabama. All right. So for now, I'll talk to y'all later and roll damn time.